Welcome to the video. The gang is all here. We are going to finish our natural stone. Man, that handwriting is just stunning. I've got a little wheat coffee. And this right here is my metatarsal, whatever it is. It's in the foot. It's this bone here that attaches to the little toe. So this is just, it probably should go up more. This is the drawing by my orthopedic doctor. That part has healed, the squiggly line. It was a complete break. And then now where he shaded in, first he drew it with a big gap and it needs to fill in. He said it should fill that little gap in and that's what we're looking for in the next month. I've been two months now. Uh, he said one more month in the boot, you can go ahead and put full weight on it, which I don't really know. I'm gonna do a little, but I don't wanna push it. Um, and then I'll see him again, and then we'll go from there with a regular shoe. He says it's healing as planned. I don't like the gap, but He's not alarmed at all. It's healing. So for a 61-year-old, I'll take it. You know what I mean? It's healing as planned with the time that it has had to heal. It's, it's healing on target, basically. Does that say Sterling? Yes. We're going to sell it. A nice Sterling clasp. And when I say we're not buying any more jewelry, we're still trying to get another stones bag. We always try to get that. There's always money. I'll, what is it? Borrow from Peter to pay Paul. Uh, all that is sterling. This is a beautiful bracelet. Maybe those beads are sterling as well. I don't know. I imagine. Um, 1818. Hematite, that's a beautiful hematite, $6. The Virgin and the Holy Child, that's what I see there. Uh, Geneva, $4, nice, either crystal, it looks like some kind of crystally glass. Well, here we have more, this is raw raw amber well i don't have my rings on so i did that earlier you know about 30 minutes ago got back oh no is that labradorite no please no i'm gonna sell it because it needs to go to somebody who will wear this or display it on there um, jewelry stand, something. Not just keep it in a blue plastic Maxwell House empty coffee tin. I think that's what that is. $24. There's no maker's mark. It's a real nice. The plating is perfect. The plating on the L, everything, it looks brand new. And there's a really beautiful deep blue in there. See it? Let me see. There it is. If you're looking for a show to watch, Fake or Fortune, wow. Love it. Love that show. Um, I watch Foxy Boho. Nelson, British Columbia. These are beautiful crystals. $7. I don't know what they are. This is rounded, so they didn't, it's not a fresh break. That's been polished like that. It's about um, 
the art world and they do they do like a painting that has not been validated like a Degas or other people I haven't heard of and they're always interesting and it's an hour long and it goes over the provenance and it is fabulous. This is an agate with carnelian seed bead eight dollars. Uh, lamp, lamp work glass. This is um, Jasper Lapis Lazuli. It was talking about on some paint with Lapis Lazuli from the 1700s. So can you, you know, there was one place in London you can still get old paint or the man ground up some Lapis Lazuli and he blended it, of course, with a, a certain oil. And um, the, the paint powder is worth its weight in gold for the pigment. Lapis lazuli, I think they call it. This is gorgeous. Mm, my goodness, $12. Um, I went to the cardiologist yesterday and I, that was, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but he says my heart is functioning normally. Um, he wants to do an upper right cath for the pulmonary pressures. He doesn't get enough information that he wants from a echo, so we're going to do it. Um, he's going to go through the neck, a vein, not an artery, and right there's the heart. And so I'm going to do it. Because I have a hard time walking around the house, so he's like, we got to do that. We can't put it off. Uh, beautiful $10. So I don't know. What can I say? Oh. Um, Merlin, there's your earrings for your set. Um, the, this is gorgeous. Let's enjoy the jewelry. That's what I'm going to say. It's all good. We started really controlling my blood pressure, which helps my pain. Was I able to walk at the, at the orthopedics? They make, you know, okay, let's walk over here to the room. Oh, okay. He wants a x-ray. Let's walk all the way around here to the x-ray. Let's sit and lift your leg and turn it this way like you're a dancer and turn it that way and hold it and put it flat. My gosh. Oh, and then let's walk all the way back. And then when we check out to get another appointment, let's walk all the way back around. Oh my gosh. So I could do that. So that's good. Um, hmm, this is stunning. The, the, this is just, can you see this? Uh, it does not show the color of, there we go. This is going to be 18. Magnet clasp. Um, nice, long, different colors. Nine dollars. Yeah, love that ring. Um, this is pretty. This is glass. Eight dollars. Landscape jasper. Oh, that's a beautiful pendant. Wow. Nine dollars. So things are kind of looking up. I sat outside today a little while when we got back with Ruby. She drove me, of course. And um, I don't feel well enough to drive, but the right foot is broken. That's where the brake is on the right side. Beautiful. Lots of different stones. 
graduated gorgeous 14. I don't think I use that price very often. Uh, four, Jasper's stretchy. Now, oh my. Thirty-three inches to sixty sixty-six over the head. They are kind of flat, okay? They're not all round. I think there's a knot after each one. Twenty-eight dollars. Um, this is just the beads to use. They are agate, seven dollars. Oh my! I'm gonna have to. I'm not ready for that one yet. I'm not ready for that yet. My little niece said one time when she was just a kid, we were driving through campus, pearls, 14. And her older brother was talking about the dorms. I'm not ready for that yet, Michael. <laughs> now she's a nursing student. We've told her, are you sure that is a, that job is, very difficult. So, yeah, she's a nursing student. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay, I'm not going to dump it because there's, like, little broken pieces of this. No, I'll put it in a little baggie of this amber. Okay, here's one, $4. Has a little ding there. Nice. Oh my, another amber. What did I sell this for? Seven. Another $7 amber bracelet. What is this? Amber and citrine. That's interesting. This is sprayed hard, $6. Where was this garage sale? <laughs> oh man, $8. It's, you know, you gotta do something with it if you wanna wear it. Essentially, it's some beads strung without the clasps or anything. Wow. The biggest piece of unikite I have ever seen. You may want to make sure that that's going to come open eventually on you. I would do something. Find a way to secure this. I think you could glue it together or wrap it up. This is something. 16, one six. Here's some more. Uh, first, let's look at this. Wow. That is... $32. $32. This is Tiger Eye. Look at that. So it's coming through to hold him. And then, I mean, it's a necklace. My gosh, wow. I'm gonna put it on Blanche here. I mean, I'm 
Why am I saying I'm sorry? I just don't know. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is Tiger Eye, but that's like a... Was somebody telling me it comes in blue? Violet? It's changing colors right there. That's kind of a bluish one. I mean, this thing is something else. No, I don't want to sell it, but I am. I'm going to sell it. I do have some tiger eye hoarded, but um, it's just time to let a lot go and then maybe hoard again later. How's that? I can always, well, you don't always come across a piece like that. That's like a $78 piece, I would think. This is quite unusual. I've never seen this shape of a gemstone. Another $16. It must have... Oh, this goes with the earrings. Who bought those earrings? Merlin, did you buy those earrings? So you will get this. I'm trying to see, it doesn't look like it's precious metal. So Merlin gonna finish out her sets. Thank you Merlin for all of your purchases um, that you you do. Um, look at that, Unakite, 14.14, adjustable neck. Jasper again. I'm just going to say nine on that, nine dollars. Some green stone and brown stone, four dollars. What is this? This is like agate chips. Oh, I don't know what it is. Is it? I don't know. I think it's agate chips. Eight dollars. Lens uh, Dalmatian Jasper. It it's the same thing. Beads. It doesn't have a clasp or anything. Seven dollars. Somehow. We will put that in. What do we have going here? We don't have a lot going yet. Okay. Thirty-two, sixty-four. There is no clasp. Thirty-eight dollars. Iridescent. I can't. It doesn't. That. It doesn't really show the richness in the purples. Purples and blues and golds and greens that come off of that. Okay. Let me see what else do I need to say. We're we're gonna we're, we're done with the gemstones except for what we have that's been left over over the last few months, which we may dip back into that. That's 
got a couple of little rhinestones. Um, so those are the rings. that I like. Well, we got some rain. It's starting, the grass is growing again. We've been getting some good rain. Minka, I'm not sure where she is, but I do have the door closed, but I don't hear her banging around. On eBay, Ruby sold, took an offer for 170 on a small, it was had a little angel on it that I thought was modern, but it's over a hundred years old, the design. And it's um, it, it had a couple of little words on it. And so we researched it up and I don't know what, but somebody offered um, they made an offer. And so she took it, you know, um, since she's got like 800 things listed, but since she listed them, things have gotten a lot worse uh, inflation wise. So, you know, of course she's going to take offers. And that's about all I have to say. I was going to come on camera, but I, I cannot right now because, well, maybe eventually I will. I will see y'all later. God bless. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend.